Hello again. Today, a new session of experimenting with my uh, old new Axiom 61 from M Audio, still under heavy recovery and reconstruction. I'm still waiting for the encoders. You know, they've been smashed in a video before. I uh, fixed the faders. Now they are working great. Of course, uh, I was thinking about having a way to assign controls, numbers, uh, messages, whatever, you know, to, to the faders, to all the switches by an editor, by a software. I used that before with uh, some Roland controllers and I know it's possible. And because uh, the mighty internet, of course, Jeff Evans from uh, Evans Music, he helped me to find a link to a very nice software. Thank you so much, Jeff. And here we have Enigma from M Audio. It's an editor for MIDI controllers. Here is a question if this software will work under Windows 11 environment. Well, nothing else to do but just jump on it and let's see if it's doing the job. First, we have to install the software and that's Enigma version 1.2, I think so. Install next, accept, of course. And let's see if it's installing under Windows. And yeah, it's looking fine. Success is fully installed. Nick. Okay, finish. Uh, now let's try to find the software and open it up. There we go. Bam, bam. It's working. Windows 11. Yes, it's working. Well, I can even see Axiom 61 here default. But obviously the keyboard is not up and running. So uh, now let me close this guy. And uh, you see this one is connected to my PC through a USB cable. We should hear the sound of the drivers activated. And if you don't have it already, uh, Windows 11 will install it automatically. Let's see. You heard the sound and we have the display the keyboard it's up and running let me see device manager under sound video and game controllers here of course usb action 61 that's the one okay now as long as the keyboard it's up and running let's open enigma let's see what's happening and i can say what I see here is that the software automatically recognizes Axiom 61 as an active keyboard. You see, we have a dot here, and that means it's ready to send and receive data. Let me reset the keyboard, you know. Very simple. Plus and minus here, and power on. Keep it there. And now the keyboard is on the default or factory settings. And we should have control change 7, volume. Here is 84 or something. That's the factory setting. Anyway, I don't care. I want to have control 7. I want to have the reverb, control 91, 93 chorus, probably 10 so panorama. And here we have, um, here I'm going to have 11. That's expression. Okay, so this is a first basic setup, let's say. Only these faders. How can we do that? Simply just click on the fader or the switch you want to change. This is 7 already. We have data from 0 to 127. If you want 0 down there, I mean to be totally off. But let's have it from 10, just for fun. Okay? And then the next one, D16. Let's change it to 91. That's reverb. And uh, let's have it also from 10. I don't want it really dry. Then uh, 93 over here. That's the chorus. Okay, let's have it from 1. I just want to check if, if the values are recognized by, uh, by the keyboard. And here, let's say control change 10. Zero to one. Okay, this stay like that. 
and this guy here let's say 11 from uh, oh 11 from uh, 64 to 110 not more okay so we had these changes here you can see the values on the faders yeah i can see that because i have here show cc on the controls if you take this out you, you don't see the values anymore but i like to see them so this is okay now we should check the midi setup from the beginning i did not all right so we have like USB Axiom 61 MIDI. So it's looking like I have two MIDI in. What is this guy? MIDI in two. Okay, let's use C USB 61 and output USB 61 Axiom. All right. But why? I don't understand why I have two ports there. And now, okay, I'm going to this guy up here. Well, what is happening? So this is not active anymore. The one I did the changing. Okay, let me delete this. So now I have another. 91, 10, 11, okay, let's do the changes again. 91, 93 from 1, okay, we are good here. 10, oh yeah, no, no, it's okay. That's okay. And, yeah, okay, so all, these are all my values, of course. Now, let's send it to the keyboard. And we have the sees on the lcd that means that the keyboard is receiving but nothing happens so i'm still having 84 here i should have 91 the control change number how can we do that we recall program 01 and now you see everything turns to normal let me see the volume it's starting from 10 you see minimum it's 10 goes up to 127 so it's perfect we're starting the reverb from 10 to 127 you see 10 it's minimal what about this guy 93 goes from one exactly like i did and here is the expression from 64 to 110 so yeah it's working and remembers of course we can save that on zero one to be sure we can save that to zero two to be sure also and recall and now we can do any kind of other changing let me see this guy here d9 this one Let, let's put a number a crazy number i don't know two from 35 to 85 all right come on up 85 okay send it to the keyboard okay recall zero one and we should have the changings that should be number two you see it's done so it's working the trick here is to recall the program change zero one i i'm i'm not sure why what uh, what has got this to do with the setup but if you don't do that there are no changings uh, on the keyboard what's nice about this keyboard you see this is the aftertouch so I'm pressing the key and then if I push it, you can feel the aftertouch. This is great. You know, that's, uh, I'm still experimenting with this guy. I'm not sure exactly uh, 
what the program numbers here means. I have to read the manual. I'm never reading the manuals, by the way. <laughs> and uh, I'm pretty sure most of us don't. And uh, then uh, we'll take another in-deep look about the Enigma editor and the uh, M-Audio keyboard. Let's see. Can I save these changings to a preset? Oh, yeah. Save as, let's say, Axiom 61 test 1. And there we go. Perfect. What I got here? If you want to change it back to defaults, just push it. Axion 61 defaults. And send it to the key. Record 01. And we should have exactly 84. So this is factory settings again. If I want to have my uh, set here, I'm going to Axiom 61 test 1, send it to the keyboard, recall 01, and there we go. Control change 2 here, if you remember. Yeah, right. OK, that's a beginning anyway. It's a very complex uh, MIDI controller. I mean, you got everything and anything we have the encoders here to change the sound and there are a lot of uh, zone group and zone range and so on and even pads for triggering drums and samplers and stuff like that okay that's it for now i hope it's useful and like always please consider subscribing to my channel it helps me a lot don't forget to push the like button i really need that <laughs> to keep on running and of course until the next one be creative and uh, the most important thing, have fun. Bye-bye.